Hi guys, this is Breaker, and I'm back with a replay that I just took from the front page of Cast It on Reddit. This is rather interesting. Um, the outline that we saw... Okay, okay. Now, now I see what's going on here. Um, never mind. Okay, guys. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give both players their introduction. Um, in the lower left-hand corner, spawning is our Zerg in the red trunks. It is SCS Panda In. Panda In, I guess. I, I'll just call him Panda from now on. Pandane. You know what? I'll call him Pandane. Pendane, how about that? And in the upper right hand corner, spawning is our Zerg in the yellow trunks. His name is Garbage Man. From here on, I think I'll just call him Garbage. Hang on just a second. You know what? I don't want to I don't want to bash him by saying that, but you know, Garbage. It, it's I'll just call him Garbage Man, whatever. I'll call him whatever comes to mind that's distinguishable to you guys. So one thing that struck me about this replay, and yes, you guys cannot see the chat because I don't like to be distracted by it, um, is that it's a 30 minute long ZVZ, so I'm rather interested to see just how this game is going to go. Already we have a pool coming from uh, Garbage Man, so we can already see that he's going, he's, he's basically opting to prevent his opponent his opponent's expo with a 9 pool. Um, well since we know this is going to go down, I guess I can give you guys some fill in time. I want to give a huge shout out to Hello Kitty SC 2 for entering this uh, summer's Asia StarCraft League. Just a heads up guys, it will begin on Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, yes. And um, I'm trying to think here, what else? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a kind of meeting, if you will, Wednesday night with all of the admins, making sure everything's squared away and good to go. Um, other things on my mind, not too much presently, but let's see. Hello Kitty SC2 from America has entered the Asia StarCraft League. This is a bit of a unique opener from our yellow Zerg, but I think it's going to carry on. Anywho. Sixlings out already. We've got the Raptor Link skin. Oh, and this is looking kind of risky already, yeah. You can see what his aim is right now. Um, what I can say presently is if this doesn't do a lot of damage, he's in a lot of trouble. The one thing that may strike your appeal for the Asia StarCraft League is that, to the best of my knowledge, there are no Korean pro teams in the entire event, but there is one Korean pro, and his name is Azubu Boom Boom. Oh, here we go, we got two Lings just waiting right here. Looks like they're going to get more kind of Lings as soon as the nest is ready to go. And this is just kind of a trap, basically, I think. Um, this is, I think, meant to basically force Pandane to make more Lings than what he's actually going to need. It looks like, what was that all about, I wonder? Oh my god. Oh, I guess it didn't hurt to hit back and just check for a second, see what that was all about. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, they were both evolution chambers, and well, let's just speed this up just a little bit. Sorry guys, I didn't want to do that, but I mean, when there's action, there's action. And this could actually be quite detrimental to Panda Pandane. He's, oh man, he's making lots of defensive evolution chambers. I kind of like this, really. I mean, it's a Sim City. Zerglings can't get around it. Neither can Banelings. And it looks like we actually have him kind of locked in in a safe position, but... Aha! Uh -huh. I've never seen this done before. Okay, it looks like we got a game of Musical Evolution Chambers going here. Interesting to say the very least, but the problem is that here we, we kind of have like two drones that are trapped, and a spine crawler's finished way back here in the corner in a defensive fashion. <laughs> what on earth is going on here, guys? I, I just, I can't tell. This is certainly one of the more interesting games I've had to, I've had the pleasure of casting. I, I will not deny that. Um, three evolution chambers, but with the given position that we see from them right now, that's a lot of delayed mining time. It really is. Um, and it looks like Garbage Man's just going to go back from here. I mean, if we check the income for both players right now, I'm, I'm a little curious as to how this is going to pan out. I'm thinking maybe Pendane is significantly set back. At the present, especially given the fact that he has not gotten his own metabolic boost started yet, he hasn't even begun harvesting gas yet. That that can be especially dangerous for the position that we see him in right now. And it looks like we have him opting to actually break open an evolution chamber while we have Garbage Man opting to put on more and more pressure. I don't know what to make of this, guys. I, I really don't. This is really... <laughs> This is like the first time I've seen a game where a Zerg has actually done this successfully. 
It would be a wise idea to send the broodlings out. Oh, man, that's not good. That's not going to help. And the Baneling connection. Oh, my God. How many workers have been killed? 15 altogether up until this point. Well, if you check the income right now, yeah, we actually have Red Zerg now. Really bad position. So I'm just wondering what the hell kind of game is going to be carried on for the next 30 minutes or so. Excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. F11. Lol. Non Zerg players. Okay, well, I was just curious, like, was there, was there anything significant that got um, underway? their dialogue before, I, I, I just can't say. I don't know, was this kind of offensive from Pendane? I was gonna say, nah, it, it could have been possible for him to do a lot of damage, but unfortunately it looks like uh, Metabolic Boost is already finished. And we have a bunch of defensive uh, Zerglings being morphed right now. You see, once they once these Slowlings arrive, it's, you know, there's gonna be like no way for them to get out, get away from that. Uh, speed, speed links safely. Here we go, yeah. Main links tacked on, just basically seals the deal, but... You know, Garbage Man, he's not really opting to chase down what we see from Pendan, Pendane just yet. Sorry about that. I thought maybe I had the production tab closed because neither player was actually making anything new at the moment. Ooh, and this is looking kind of bad. Just a little bit. Alright, so here we go. Pandane pulling his links back. Queen's coming and kind of tanking right now, but I think there's a few too many links here. This is this natural probably gonna get forced to cancel. The question is the follow-up. How is that gonna work out? I mean, like if we check both players' income right now, we actually see that Panda in is at a significant lead, and it looks like unfortunately, ooh, the natural did not get canceled. That is 300 minerals. We will not be seeing Panda in get back. Um. Ling's coming out, yes, but there's just no, there's no speed right now. How's he, how's he still in this game? I, I don't get it. Alright, so here we go. The income is going to skyrocket in the near future for our yellow zerg garbage man. I mean, it's just going to take a little while to really observe it, but just look at the income right now and that tells a story. It's, it's fractional, yes, but when you consider just how far ahead he is in upgrades, we're talking speedlings. You know, speedy zerglings that have the ability to move across the map already. Well, you know what? I think... Nah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, he's doing nothing but making wings right now. He's got a spine crawler and a defensive evolution chamber going down. But I'm thinking we could see just the appropriate window of opportunity for Panda in to come in and actually do some real damage with these wings. Yes, especially given the insignificant number of yellow wings that we have out right now. I'm thinking we can see Panda in do a lot of damage. If he could just go straight into the main, but he, you know that spine crawler is going to be finished just as the wings get up here. But it looks like they have a moment of opportunity to just get into the main. A couple of evolution chambers get morphed instantly out of what's here. And I think we're going to see, yes, instantly overproduction of Zerglings from Garbage Man. Kind of defensively, but it looks like, no, 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 not quite overproduction, but definitely um, enough production to really, you know, just to work the links that were already at the natural and we look at uh, Panda In's income right now he's kind of in a comfortable position I would say not the best but of course if you check the harvester count right now I mean it's kind of a miracle you know he's not that far behind it's kind of a miracle he's not out of the game just yet Garbage Man tacking on a second gas at the main and Getting double gas at the natural. 15, 24, 12, 24, yeah. Okay, so both players is continuing the macro game. But also tech ups right now. You know, behind this, we saw Panda and go straight for layer tech. And I believe, you know, it, it's all going to come down to method of choice. We're going to have investors out long before the long before the Spire even begins to crank out any mutas. But the question is, it's all going to come down to the micro, of course, and this looks like a, a slight timing, if you will, from Garbage Man to check and see if there's a third. He sees that there is not, but of course it is now 13 minutes, 10 seconds into the game, which is considerably far behind for Zerg um, at this stage. PvP? Wow, that's a completely different story. Like, you would have to be extremely reluctant to... Uh, really take an expo on that map. I mean, it's just really, 
or in any PvP matchup, it's just difficult to take a natural unless it's a huge four-player map like Star Station or uh, Whirlwind. Natural, few too few drones, main, few too few drones, but it's alright. I think you'll be just fine. Um, so, in all essence, what we see from Garbage Man is the perfect opportunity to uh, basically sit back, I guess, kind of defend, maybe build up some offensive forces. We've got investors, yes, but the question is, what, what's the plan from here? We, This is interesting. Evolution Chambers going down here again. It looks like they may have been cancelled accidentally. Can't really pull anything else together from this game thus far. I mean, hold on, let's let's go back to the tech structures. We have an infestation pit, we got wings, a lair, evolution chamber that is researching plus one melee. Okay, so I think I see what's happening with this game, but it's hard to tell where it's gonna go. Of course, we do have the Broad investors moving out. It looks like their aim is to really uh, put some heavy harass onto the third, perhaps maybe into the natural, but this could get ugly real fast if he's not careful. Ooh boy. Alright, so there we go. I see what this is all about. Okay, so Garbage Man is basically keeping up overseers with uh overseers with his mutas, his flock of mutas to essentially keep his opponent blind, but now there's a bunch of infested parents coming down here to target down the third. It looks like they may just get it so successfully. Yes, unfortunately, and that is going to delay mining time on the third. Meanwhile, Obi's lean is getting pulled back here, and there was no successful run by to speak of at Panda in, in his natural, and what is absurd to note is the stage in the game we are at right now with Panda in not even having a Bane nest. Sure, investors have AoE, but of course they, they also have energy. They're not easy to use. I mean, they really are not. And speaking of investors, they still have those four hero investors. They got, let's see, three, four, five kills on them. Simply for throwing down all those infested Terrans, they did manage to get a uh, third base takedown, but that, that just barely happened. Both players kind of at relatively even food counts right now, but if we check the army supply, you know, it tells a different story. For Panda Inn, it's kind of superior. He's got some lings waiting up here to do a run by at this third again, and with that, I think we'll be even more powerful than before. Um, by that I mean he's going to be able to kill drones with it. Just look at the lings, they're coming by right now. And there's the action. It's going to, you know, this is going to cost. Garbage Man is third, but how many wings are going to fall, or how many drones are going to fall as well is the real question. You know, mutas are immediately being pulled back along with the wings, and they're going to deal with what's here, sure, no problem, but of course the losses at this stage are rather tremendous, I think. I mean, 15 workers early game, sure, that's huge, but of course, um, when both players are on one base and one player is doing nothing but making workers while the other player is doing nothing but killing workers, it could be a completely different story. Lots of investors down here, and that's going to make for, you know, some really, really nasty engagement points for our Zerg. Like, I mean, our yellow Zerg. I don't think I could see Garbage Man going in there and having a, even a single Mew to survive. Right now it would be, I, I think it would be an all too logical idea to actually just do nothing but straight up crank out. Um, nothing but queens and investors. Like, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not mocking anyone. Excuse me, I'm not mocking anyone who went to MLG and had no clue what he was doing after he just uh, transitioned from Brood War into uh, StarCraft 2. But I mean, you know, I think it could actually be quite viable at the present stage in the game. The present stage of things, the way everything looks right now. And the third is just now going down for uh, Panda in. Meanwhile, this lean run by activity is kind of getting shut down. He's bringing an over a pair of garbage man's pulling and bring a bringing a pair of overseers here to take down these lings. I really think you know garbage man with what he has right now, he could have much better map coverage. If we check the supply right now, yes, the army count is higher for him. And now would definitely be the time to attack, but now there's a, a run by going into the main. Looks like it could end up with a queen getting sent. No, that probably won't happen. Mutas and even more lanes coming back. I'm a little curious as to just why either player has basically stopped producing on main lanes at this stage. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And one thing that I really appreciate about Panda Inn is that he's got Burrow and he just 
grows a couple of leans here and there, you know, like kind of an insurance policy. It's like, okay, well, I, I'm going to make sure you have to keep X number of forces here while you pull an overseer and so on and so forth. I hear something swinging, 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 but I'm not sure what it is. Is is, and I really want to see these investors go to town on the third here. But speaking of thirds, it looks like we have Garbage Man in a position to snipe that Panda in. We finally have a bunch of Ultras in production, and it looks like this is kind of a new two-base turtle strategy. And oh my God, the fungals are sick! It looks like all these mutas will die with certainty. One way or another, yeah, that kind of fungal growth. Oh my god, they're still alive. But they're all one shot. Ah, oh, the queens just weren't quite there. Finally, we have ultras and queens coming into play. I've never quite seen a two-base strategy like this before. Let's just see where things go from here, guys. I never would have imagined, really. Alright, so here we go, the third, once again, kind of stripped bare of all of its workers. Ultra coming back in here, Ultra is coming back in here, excuse me, and it looks like we have Panda in, kind of, you know, he's, he's a student surpassing the master, if you will. Banelings are coming into the mix, but I really don't know what good they're going to do for Garbage Man, considering, you know, these are Ultra lists, and they don't really melt to anything, and that forces the Mutas on top of them, the Queens are going to, wow, oh my god, this is the first time I've ever seen this kind of a composition. In CBZ, ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely amazed to see this. And finally, we have Panda in. You know, he smells blood. He's like, okay, I'm coming in for the kill. But I really think that some things we should have seen earlier with uh, Garbage Man would have been much, much heavier early. Excuse me, not early, but mid-game aggression with the computers. Still has them back here, and they're getting transfused, and all the transfusers are eventually going to get exhausted. And all it's going to take is three or four fumbles with excellent green cover to really take those mutas down in their massive numbers. But it looks like slowly but surely we have to and it didn't meet the list appropriately. No, wait, I take that back. I didn't see all these ultras. I thought. Maybe by some miracle they have been dealt with, but they have not, and they are being chased down right now. But presently speaking, I don't see Garbage Man coming back from this just yet. I mean, once we see Panda in basically get more investors into the mix, he's making four right now, then we're going to have Garbage Man essentially on borrowed time. Especially given the amount of income that we see presently, he's only got one hatchery left, and it's right here. And we just have our Zerg player doing our Red Zerg, excuse me, doing nothing but throwing away leagues spamming if you will i've never seen a game like this before in my life sure i've seen games where players opt to trade bases but i've never ever once seen anything like this that was quite you know i i, I didn't know if that was something exclusive to free work could it possibly have been done in starcraft 2 leagues of It could have been done, I think, even more effectively in StarCraft 2 and Liberty, but hey. I think I'll have to give this one a shot sometime. Oh, 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 the beautiful fungals are going down, and it looks like this, this could possibly be one of the penultimate engagements of the game. Beautiful stack of fungals going down here and there. Queen's getting transfused left and right, so it looks like it might, might not be enough. But oh my god, surely everything from Panda and Pandane basically prevailed here. We do kind of have two Banelings left over, but you know, two Banelings versus two Ultras. I think it's a no brainer on who wins that engagement. Of course, checking the investors down here. I don't know, the Mutas are trying to do what they can to contain uh, Pandane, but you know, this is coming down to a low econ situation. Both players' income at close to nothing. Actually, Garbage Man at absolute zero. And he's putting, you know, what's this ability called? He's putting infection or contaminate, excuse me, contaminate rather on this uh, pocket or left hand base. While simultaneously trying to take this base, and it looks like that was just as his final hatch at the main was killed. Sniped by investors. I've never seen a more interesting ZBZ in my life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to be casting this. Overseer getting sniped. Ooh, man, that's. 
be because once the Overseer falls, it's basically GG because there's no lair left for Garbage Man. If he loses this Overseer, then there's no way for him to snipe those Brood Infestors. That's why it's so valuable for him to keep it alive for as long as he can. Lean's going up into the base, like into the main here, trying to kill off all the tech on the structures. Yuta's still flying around here, trying to take down the third where they can, and trying to really just choke um, Pandane's income. I don't think he's in a position to win, but of course, I, I, I'm willing to retract that statement. Ling's, of course, did chase it down, and now basically the only structure that we see Garbage Man left with is this, you know, this hatchery right here and a couple of extractors and one spawning pool that is now in construction. Um, that being said, Pandane basically is miles ahead. If we just check income right now, yeah, I mean, he's already doubled that of Garbage Man, and I think Garbage Man's basically essentially on borrowed time. There's, I, I, I just don't see him coming back from this. He's like, great, okay, he just found my... He just found my base. What do I do now? And these drones are desperately running away, but all it takes is really a bunch of things getting thrown away at this base, and we will see the income go to nothing very soon for Garbage Man. There are four spine crawlers in production, and now. Oh my god, does he see it? Is he aware of it? I think now we're gonna see garbage man basically top out there's there's no way he's gonna survive it. there it is all the beach balls in the world surrounding the patch all the spine colors getting cancelled and it looks like we see you know garbage man kind of going into a desperate sort of base trade scenario but the last drone gets sniped and with that I don't see garbage man surviving this yes he I don't know he, 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 I could be wrong but the, the investors the investors are coming back to throw down some beach balls and Take care of the extractors. There it is. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go ahead and kick that open. There it is. From Garbage Man. He's like, GG. He didn't want to give up. You know, he's got spirit. We'll definitely give him credit for that. Give him kudos for that. We can't deny him that. And in the end, you know, it was really one of those crazy games that I've never seen before. But I really want to go back and highlight for just a moment um, the queens accompanying the investors and the ultralists. I've never seen that before. That was actually quite interesting. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give that a shot in the future. Um, investors, very difficult to control. We actually saw our Red Zerg not take a third until maybe about 15 minutes into the game. That was really bold, and I've never seen it done before. Good game, Pandane. I'll see you guys next time.